So scientists have found two new Earth planets that are relatively close to Earth. LP8909C and Toy 1452B, which are both approximately only 100 light years away from Earth. To put that in perspective, it takes 7 months to reach Mars, which is 5 light years away. Meaning, the possibility to set up an expedition to either LP8909C or Toy 1452B would only be about 11 Earth years. It's freaking mind blowing, considering humans have already been to Mars. There's something so fascinating and at the same time so humbling in looking to far off worlds for similarities with our own. The calculations, the circumstance, and the right combination of chemicals, temperature, and water makes finding or replicating another Earth one in a million million or one in a trillion. Though finding Earth-like planets is nothing new, as we now know today discovered in 2014 with Kepler-186f. As of today, there are a handful of Earth-like planets that we know of. I think the number as of today is officially 57. The only problem is getting to them. With distances as far as 500 light years, 1000 light years, or even 12,000 light years away isn't really a walk in the park. Although scientists believe the recent discovery of Toy 1452B and LP8909C are of super earth planets, habitable, and actually not that far off, both only being about a hundred light years away. Again, putting that up against the fact that we've already been to Mars, although humans haven't already officially stepped down on Mars, we've got rovers. We've got rovers. We've landed rovers on Mars, which is about five light years away. And it took about seven months. To put that in perspective to an exoplanet that is about 100 light years away, meaning about 11 Earth years, the newest planet to be discovered of the two, although only weeks apart, is LP8909C, which is labeled a super Earth because it is 40% bigger than our Earth. Although this planet orbits very close to its star, the amount of stellar irradiation it receives is still low and could allow the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface. That's because this planet's star, LP8909, or rather its sun, is about 6.5 times smaller and roughly half as hot in temperature-wise than our Earth's sun, giving it the possibility for life. But if you thought LP8909C was cool, Toy 1452B is even more promising. The exoplanet Toy 1452B is probably rocky like Earth, but its radius mass and density suggest a world very different from our own. Earth is essentially a very dry planet even though we sometimes call it the blue planet because about 70% of its surface is covered by ocean, water actually only makes up a negligible fraction of its mass, less than 1%. See, water may be much more abundant on some exoplanets. In recent years, astronomers have identified and determined the radius and mass of many exoplanets with a size between that of Earth and Neptune. Some of these planets have a density that can only be explained if a large fraction of their mass is made up of lighter materials than those that make up the internal structure of the Earth, such as water. And that's why these worlds are called ocean planets. Toy 1452b is one of the best candidates for an ocean planet that we have found to date. Its radius and mass suggest a much lower density than what one would expect for a planet that is basically made out of metal and rock like Earth. Freaking crazy stuff. The universe and searching for Earth-like planets is mind-blowing. 
only time can tell when or if humans will become a multi-planetary species. But one thing's for sure, all this stuff is just freaking cool. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.